I've got a bunch of uh, Minecraft chores that I gotta do, but I'll do that off camera. Mostly just horse melting and things like that. This can go. This can go. Um, I don't know. I don't remember where I put those. It sounds like we got hit by another meteor already. Let's see if we can find it. See, there's a chicken. What are you doing? Fully charged. I'd like you to block comments. Comments. What about you? You're fully charged. 193%. What's this? 202%? Oh, right. Ugh. At least when these things block comments, uh, they sometimes collect the resource. Okay. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Let's just see what our uh, harvester has collected so far. Not a ton of stuff. And these other planters aren't really doing anything right now. Hmm. Well, I'll figure out the farming off camera. I don't see any sense in obsessing over it right now. Just take the seeds and plant them, at least. Okay, uh, how was I doing this? Right and back. Okay, so right and barley goes back. The corn hasn't grown yet, the rye hasn't grown yet. But I can at least plant some of this barley. And I can plant these oats. I hear a wisp. Hey, dick. Hi. My name's Kez. You're not gonna mess with my berries, are you? Are you gonna run away? Or are you gonna come mess with my crops? Come here! Ugh. Ow. It hurts. Well, attacking that thing was clearly a mistake. Jeez. I really gotta find a projectile that I can use on things. Actually, I wonder if there are guns in this uh, mod pack. Let's just have a look. Okay, there's a nail gun, screw gun, ooh, a needle gun, blow gun, and a gun stock for Balkan's weapon mod. Uh, there's also this needle gun ammo and stuff. How do I make you? Iron, a spyglass, a safari net launcher, magma cream, and plastic sheets. Are there other things I can make? I can make a musket and a blunderbuss. Yeah, I can make a musket and a blunderbuss. Oh, uh, let's see. Which do I like more? I like the musket. I like the sounds of the musket. I want to make the musket barrel. Okay, flint and steel and some iron ingots. That sounds really cheap, actually. So let's just go in here. Collect up some flint and some steel. There's my flint. Uh, where's my iron? There it is. Let's make a flint and steel because that's what we need for this. We need one, two, three iron. Makes the musket barrel. Okay, and then the gun stock just needs some wood. So I think I can take that from here. Okay, there's some sticks. Um, I just need some wood. I can combine these. There we go. That's a neat trick. Okay, and now I can take this gun stock and this musket barrel to make a musket. Okay, what kind of ammo does this take? Let's just look at Falcons. Uh, are there bullets? Cannonball. Musket round. Okay, how do I make a musket round? It's gunpowder, some iron, and some paper. So, where's that gunpowder? 
There's some gunpowder, iron, and I think I have some paper upstairs. Let's just have a look see. I do have some paper. Not a lot, but I do have some. So let's just take this. Paper, iron, gunpowder. And I think I'm going to go ahead and grab some more paper from over here. Which reminds me, I do need to uh, replant those uh, sugar canes. And let's see, vegetables and greens, processed and spices. There we go. Okay, I'll use this crafting bench to make my paper. I'll use this gunpowder to make my musket round. Excellent. And now I can use my musket. Is that sassy son of a bitch? Let's just grab a bite to eat real quick. Oh, actually, this footlong looks good. Now let's go hunting. I think instead of going after that wisp, though, which uh, seems like it'd be impossible to hit, we should go after some creepers, maybe. Replenish our uh, gunpowder, which I just used all of, and we'll go from there. It's gonna be nighttime soon, so I can't imagine a better time to go hunting. Or we could just hold on to the musket and the musket rounds and save balls to it, and then try to um, ah, what is it? And then try to make a mob grinder of some kind. If you guys have any ideas to do that or how to do that, then let me know. I do know that Industrial Craft, or sorry, uh, Mine Factory Reloaded does have ways to make um, mob grinder eater type things. Um, I've seen the Yogg's Cast used on pigs to collect uh, pork chops. Where are you? I saw that wisp. Ah! There you are, you sassy son of a bitch. Uh, that's right, you better fly away. Dick. Well, I think for now I'm just gonna go to bed. I do like the way those uh, jars of fireflies look. For now, I'm gonna go get some sleep, and then we'll figure out what to do in the morning. Oh, yeah, I, I put my bed in here, too. Okay, let's just open this up. Let's take a look at my big writing book. Okay, miscellany and fun. Uh, first, let's look at the buildings. Um, I need to finish the floors in the kitchen. I need to create a phone craft building. I need to create a tree grove opposite of where the mine was. I need small animal pens for chickens, cows, pigs, and sheep. I need chocobo pens. And I need to rebuild the house because it's just completely destroyed right now. Uh, research. Uh, farming automation. I've already looked up how to do that. Uh, Boots of the Traveler, that's something I need to work on. Golemancy and Flight are also things I need to work on. Exploration, I need to hit those places. Crafting and tasks, I need to work on the digital miner. I need some tinker tools. Uh, I still need the, the uh, oh, excuse me, stutter. I still need the pickaxe and a shovel. Uh, let's see, harvester planter on the farms, I'm working on those. Find or make boots of the traveler. I need more solar panels. I need a ton of solar panels to power what I want. I need more copper cables, more cables, and I accessed the Twilight Forest. And then this is just fun stuff. Well, for now, I think I'm going to look at the boots of the traveler. Because, actually, I'd already had this uh, set up a little while ago. And I just made some enchanted fabric, which I can use to make stuff, I think. Right? Well, whatever. Let's open up the Thaumonomicon. And take these scribing tools. And see what I can work on next. Uh, Artifice, I believe, is where the Boots the Traveler ooh, will be. What I do with Enchanted Fabric. I can make uh, Thaumaturge's robes. I can make boots and leggings. Unfortunately, it does require a lot of enchanted fabric. 
and I don't have a ton of bees. But it doesn't seem like I can do much else with this stuff. So let's just hit you again. Not a lot I can do with the enchanted fabric. That blows. Okay, well, let's see what else there is. Banners! I can make banners. Um, what's this? Paving stone of travel, arcane stone, paving stone of warding. I'm not actually very interested in this. Uh, paving stone of travel. That sounds like something I would only be able to use at home. Hmm. And then there's golemancy. So I could make a hungry chest. And it looks like the hungry chest might lead into golemancy. It's hard to see. Oh, here we go. Wait, dirt, launcher, tiny hats, tiny spectacles, and tiny bow ties. So I can make accessories for my golems. Seems uh, frivolous, but fun. What's this? Auto magic. Uh, this is a red crystal. I don't know what this is for. Okay. But if I can do some research that I might be able to find out. So uh, I'll be right back, everyone. I'm just going to work on this stuff. Okay, we've just discovered red crystal. Or we've learned about it, at least. So let's go over here. You've discovered that some materials, once crystallized a certain way, become more susceptible to magical control. New crystalline structures can then be rearranged, and in some cases, instructions can be printed upon them. So it seems like it would be very useful. Okay, you can pass signal to other red crystal and adjacent blocks. It'll also pass signal around corners when two red crystal clusters aren't directly touching. So that will work. Cool. I like that. Don't know what I could do with this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Seems like it's related to redstone, so that's a good thing. Let's just have a look around. Okay, well, I don't know how to get started with golemancy, except for, you know, hungry chest stuff. And I don't know how to make straw golems. How do I make a hungry chest anyway? It's just uh, wood and a trap door with magic. A hungry a hungry chest seems useful because it picks up items on its own. But because I have a sorting system already, I don't know how practical it would actually be. Uh, Google's or goggles? Google's. What the hell is a Google's? Man, I really got a find out how I'm supposed to make the boots of the Traveler. I might have to... What's this? I might have to um, consult a wiki, but I think that'll be okay. Anyways, my voice is actually really torn up, so um, I think I'm just gonna cut here. Sorry this uh, particular session was so short, but I'm just... My voice is running out of steam. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like this, make sure you let me know by pushing the like button and telling me what you liked and what you didn't like about these episodes in the comments below. If you guys want to support the show, you can do that by sharing the episodes with your friends. And if you want to see more of my stuff, you can subscribe. You can also keep in touch with me outside of YouTube through the links in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully I'll get a chance to record more Resident Rise. And hopefully next time I'll have a better idea of what it is I want to do. It's just that it's been so long since I actually sat down to play Resident Rise that I wasn't 100% on what I was going to do next. But I think um, between episodes I'm going to finish the floor in here, finish the floor in the kitchen, and figure out where I'm going to put the house. So, yeah. Maybe even do some more work on the farms. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Love you!